Welcome to our channel. Today we're exploring some of the best off-season destinations in Southeast Asia. For those who haven't had a chance to visit this incredible part of the world, Southeast Asia is a tapestry of vibrant cultures, breathtaking landscapes, and delicious food. Whether you're looking to avoid the crowds or just want to experience these places in a different light, we've got you covered. So grab your backpack, your sense of adventure, and let's dive into the beauty of Southeast Asia during its off-season. All right, fellow adventurers, let's kick things off in the Island of Gods, Bali, Indonesia. Picture this, pristine beaches practically all to yourself, the scent of incense lingering in the air, and the opportunity to connect with local culture on a deeper level. During the peak season, Bali is a whirlwind of activity, but in the off season, the island reveals a more serene, intimate side. Imagine strolling along the beaches of Seminyak or Nusa Dua, the soft sand between your toes, the sun warming your skin, and the sound of the waves crashing against the shore, and the best part, you won't have to fight for your spot on the sand. Let's talk about the cultural heart of Bali, Ubud. This artistic haven is a sensory delight, with traditional dance performances, captivating temples, and lush rice terraces. In the off-season, you can wander through Ubud's bustling markets, chat with local artisans, and soak in the spiritual ambiance without the usual crowds. And for those seeking adventure, Bali's interior is a playground for hikers and nature enthusiasts. So there you have it. Bali in the off-season is a dream come true. Serenity, culture, adventure, and delicious food all wrapped up in one beautiful package. Next, we venture to the heart of Cambodia, to the ancient city of Siem Reap, home to the magnificent Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is a true wonder of the world, a sprawling temple complex that draws visitors from far and wide. That's why visiting Siem Reap in the off-season is a game-changer. Imagine the sun rising over Angkor Wat, casting an ethereal glow on the ancient stones, and you're there to witness it in relative peace and quiet. Siem Reap is much more than just Angkor Wat. It's a city brimming with culture, charm, and delicious food. So if you're looking to experience the magic of Angkor Wat without the crowds, the off-season in Siem Reap is calling your name. Chapter 3, Phuket, Beyond the Beaches in the Off-Season. Let's head south to the land of smiles, Thailand, and more specifically, the island paradise of Phuket. Known for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and vibrant nightlife, Phuket is a destination that needs no introduction. But beyond the typical tourist attractions lies a different side of Phuket, one that reveals itself during the off-season. Imagine having those pristine beaches practically to yourself, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore your own private soundtrack, and for those who love water sports, the off-season in Phuket is a surfer's paradise. With fewer crowds and favorable wind conditions, you can catch some epic waves without having to navigate through a sea of other surfers. Phuket is much more than just beaches. In the off-season you can explore the island's lush interior, discover hidden waterfalls, and visit local villages. So, whether you're a beach bum, a nature enthusiast, or a foodie, Phuket in the off-season offers a unique and unforgettable experience. Chapter 4 Luang Prabang, Stepping Back in Time Next, we journey to the heart of Laos to the enchanting town of Luang Prabang, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that feels like a step back in time. Nestled in a valley where the Mekong and Nam Khan rivers meet, Luang Prabang is a place of serene beauty and ancient traditions. During the off-season it takes on a magical quality, a sense of tranquility that washes over you. Imagine waking up before dawn and joining the locals for the daily almsgiving ceremony where monks walk barefoot collecting offerings. As the sun rises, explore Luang Prabang's many ornate temples, wander through charming streets lined with French colonial architecture and artisan shops. For adventure the natural beauty surrounding Luang Prabang is breathtaking. Hike to Mount Pusi for views or take a boat trip to Kuangsi Falls. If you're looking for a place where time stands still, Luang Prabang in the off-season is your perfect escape. Chapter 5. Boracay Finding Serenity in Paradise Our final off-season adventure takes us to the Philippines to the island paradise of Boracay, renowned for its pristine white sand beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and vibrant nightlife. Boracay's beauty is legendary, drawing visitors from all corners of the globe. 
but sometimes those crowds can be a bit overwhelming, making it hard to truly relax and soak in the beauty of this tropical paradise. That's why visiting Boracay in the off-season is a game-changer. Imagine having those world-famous beaches practically all to yourself, the soft, powdery sand between your toes, the gentle sea breeze caressing your skin, and the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. And for those who love water sports, the off-season in Boracay is a dream come true. With fewer boats and crowds, the waters are calmer, making it ideal for swimming, snorkeling, diving, and even kite surfing. Boracay offers a tantalizing array of culinary delights from fresh seafood to exotic fruits to traditional Filipino dishes. So if you're looking for a tropical getaway where you can relax on pristine beaches, enjoy exhilarating water sports and experience the warmth of Filipino hospitality, Boracay in the off-season is calling your name. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and destination guides. Remember, the beauty of Southeast Asia shines bright all year round, and exploring these destinations during their off-season offers a unique perspective and a chance to connect with their true essence. See you in the next adventure.